Hey there, and welcome to Craft Jitsu's Embroidery Basics video. This one's all about things you do when you start stitching. Now I was asked various questions by some lovely people on Intertwined Threads, which is a Facebook page which I highly recommend you join. It's full of all kinds of like-minded people who just want to solve each other's embroidery problems, and not forgetting a nosy about what everyone else is doing. Now the first questions were about undoing skeins and storing threads. So with this stranded cotton I'm going to use these little plastic winders. They're about two or three pounds for a packet, but they make life a lot easier for you. Now you can get cardboard ones as well, but I tend to find that eventually this sort of thing happens and they tend to not be very useful, so I stick with the plastic ones. Which are much tougher, as you see. Now these stranded cottons often have one end that sticks out slightly. I've pulled it a bit here, but you saw it at the beginning. And the other end might be hiding under the little paper bits that wrap round it. It's a bit of a guessing game at this point as which one will work, but it's generally if there's one poking out, it's use that one first, and just slowly pull it. Slow and gentle seems to be the key. I'm not sure you can guarantee which one will work, but hopefully we'll get there today. And just keep winding up the thread. Now in this video I'm also going to show you how to get rid of one of these little loopy knots, and I thought I was going to have to spend all afternoon trying to get one, because you never do when you want one. So if you find one of these while you're sewing, all you need to do is find a needle, Pop it through the loop and gently pull. One way or the other should make the loop close just like this. Then you can pull out the needle, tug on the knot and it all disappears. So I can carry on winding. Then you can pop the end through this little slot and it's all finished. Now I used to number all of mine, but I don't bother anymore, but just to show you that you can keep an eye on which thread is which after all. Bear in mind there are different manufacturers of threads, so all the numbers won't be different, so I just used to have all mine written in a book. Now these skeins are slightly different. This is a perlay thread. So just take off the little paper sleeves, and then unwind the thread. Notice somewhere along the length there's this little knot here. And this will allow you to divide up the threads into a ring. Now it can be very useful to ask a handy family member to hold on to this for you and so you can unwind it, but if you don't have one handy you'll just have to lay it on a table just like I'm doing here. Now after I finally find my scissors, you can just snip this little knot off here. And then just unloop the remaining thread. Now you can see we've got an eye on both ends here, but this one seems to be lying on the top of the pile at the moment, so we're going to start with that and hope for the best. Again, slow and steady is the best option. And just wind up the thread as you did before. And just keep smoothing them down so they all lie in the right place. These are all my threads, wound up and ready to go. And finally we get on with some stitching. You're supposed to start with a reasonably short length of thread, maybe 12 inches long, but I have to admit I get a bit lazy and sometimes use longer lengths than this. Depends if it starts to damage the threads, if you start to notice this just stop and use shorter lengths. Now this is stranded cotton, so it comes in six strands. I'm going to split it down to two because that's what I normally use for sewing. Now you can either pull two out at once and hope, or do one at a time like this. I've heard that one at a time it's supposed to, be, it's supposed to lie flatter, but I've never particularly noticed myself. And here's the four strands that are left over. Now 
Now I'm going to show you two ways to thread the needle. What I normally do, because it's quite fluffy in the end here, is give the end a little suck. It just makes it much easier to thread. Now the second way is to create a loop. If you're having trouble threading a needle, try the other method and see if it helps you. So wrap the thread around the needle and then push the loop through the hole. It's quite tricky in this example because it's such a small hole. And there you go. Now we're going down the other end of the thread to tie the knot. I know some people really hate knots but I've always used them and they've always worked fine for me. This video is always just to show you what I do, they're never to claim I'm an expert in anything. So I just wrap the thread round my fourth finger and loop the end through and pull. Now I tend to do it three times because you want the knot at the end to be bigger than the needle, otherwise the needle will just pull the knot straight through with it. This does however leave quite a long tail, which will tend to poke back through the front of the work if you're not careful, so I just snip it off short like this. Now I had another question from my lovely subscribers about beeswax or its equivalents. Some people rub this onto the threads and I'm not quite sure why. It's supposed to give it a much smoother finish I think and stop it fraying as much but again I've never used it. I've never had any problem with it personally so I'm afraid I can't really help on that one. Now I'm just doing a few little random stitches so I can show you how to tie off the threads. So just turn the work over. Now this fabric should be much tighter in this hoop, I'm sorry about that, it was just to show you as a little stitch sample. Now take the thread behind some of these little stitches here and do the same again. Now I always bring the thread up through this little loop here that we've just made. I don't know why, it's just habit. snip the thread off here. Quite short but not too short so it comes back undone again. Otherwise as well these little ends can end up poking back through the front through the stitches that you've made and that's just annoying. If you've enjoyed the video please feel free to subscribe to the channel or share the video around and if you have any more questions please let me know and I'll do my best to answer them.